Hello guys and welcome back to the Rosh Vlog. Today, it's kind of the day I gotta get all kinds of stuff done before vacation. It's the last day I'm off before we go on vacation. I gotta clean the car, I gotta get some tickets, I gotta do some planning, I gotta do, do all kinds of stuff. It starts right there. You guys should come join us, won't you? Okay, first things first, Lincoln, we gotta get this car cleaned out. There is all kinds of stuff all over the back seat, the front seat, the passenger seat, the driver's seat, the trunk, all over the place. And we need to wash your car seat. Not only your car seat, but all the car seats. Yeah, we gotta get this washed. And I think we're gonna start there. We're gonna start by stripping down the car seats. And if you're wondering why we have three car seats, well, it's one for my car, one for Kristen's car, and one for like, if we're taking him in someone else's car, uh, we got it, it was free. And uh, it's easier just to throw one in there than take it out of our car and put another one, put it back in and take it out and put it back in our car. We have an extra one, actually I think it's this one, that we just throw in a car to take it real quick somewhere. You know, make life easy on us. <sighs> okay. Half hour later, got the car seat out. Man, I went to battle against that. And that is why we have an extra car seat. If I ever needed to take this thing out and put in another car for any reason, whew, now that's out, I gotta figure out how to take it apart and uh, wash everything. We're gonna do that to all three. I did not know what I was getting into this morning. That took longer to disassemble those than it did to get it out of the car. Oh my gosh, Lincoln. Hope you appreciate what a car, clean car seat means. You just want to sucker. Don't you? Yeah, okay. Let me get this in the wash and you can have a soccer. Okay, making some progress. Got everything out of the car, got it vacuumed. Uh, now I gotta go back and clean the dash and everything, the seats, put everything back in. We're making progress. It's it's a slow progress, but we're making progress. Lincoln's helping. You helping? You haven't, yeah? He's a big help. Not really, but yeah, he thinks he's helping, so that's good. Whew, tired, man. A lot of work. You think cleaning the car out is not a lot of work, but it is a lot of work. And I still got to do the trunk. I haven't looked in there yet. Well, is it perfect? Absolutely not. I definitely did not detail it, but it is much, much better. Good enough for the trip we're going on, a little uh, five day excursion. Yeah, I just wanted to clean it out so that, uh, you know, it looked a little bit nicer when we left. But now, my last thing I got to do is figure out what else is coming back into the car out of the 20 toys I took out of the car. Because I don't think it needs all of them. And then I gotta get the car seats put back together. Yeah. You do not need any more snacks. Put them back. Gotta get the car seats put back together. Gotta get him down for a nap. Because he's gotta go to a birthday party tonight. And then uh, I got some other stuff I gotta do while him and Kristen are at a birthday party. Well, putting the car seats back together actually went very well, very quick. Uh, I was kind of worried I wouldn't know what goes with what, but uh, you kind of tell by the shape of everything, what went to what, and then you just match colors, and by then, you were done. Super fast, super easy. Now, I'm just waiting for the seat cover for mine, so I can put mine in. Then I got to figure out which one of these Kristen wants in her car, put that one in, and go from there. Well, made it inside after finishing putting everything back in the cars. Tell you what, that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. But it needed done. I'm glad it's done. The car looks nice, ready to go on vacation. I just got to uh, maybe give it a, you know, wash it. Maybe take it through a car wash and uh, get some gas, stuff like that. Then the car will be vacation ready. We, however, are not even close to being vacation ready. We haven't even thought about packing and we got to buy some tickets. So let's talk about vacation. Let's have some vacation talk. Where are we going? Virginia. Uh, we're spending five days in Virginia. Uh, here's the plan. So in case you just want to follow along. Uh, Wednesday morning, we're getting up super early, the uh, time I normally get up, 3.30 is when I wake up every day. Uh, getting in the car, leaving hopefully, fingers crossed, by about 4, driving to Norfolk. Spending the evening in Norfolk, uh, just downtown, checking out what there is to check out, check out the battleships, uh, look around, go to some of the parks, things like that. Hanging out in Norfolk, spending the night in Norfolk. Then on Thursday, we're going to drive to Virginia Beach, spend a day in Virginia Beach, probably the entire day in Virginia Beach. Uh, go to the boardwalk, hang out on the beach, uh, go to some of the shops. Yeah, just Virginia Beach or bust. Then, we're going to drive back to Norfolk, spend the night in Norfolk, get up the next morning, drive to Williamsburg, Virginia, 
I'm going to Bush Gardens. That will be on Friday. Can't wait. Never been to Bush Gardens in Virginia. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have fun. Lincoln's first time Bush Gardens. All of our first times at Bush Gardens. Okay, then we're driving towards... Uh, I forget where we're staying. I don't know where we're staying that night. Uh, Richmond, Virginia, I think? Maybe? Yeah, that sounds about right. Spending the night there, getting up the next day, going a little bit farther north, going to the King's Dominion. Because uh, we are Cedar Fair Pass holders, so we're going to King's Dominion. Another first park for all of us. None of us have been there. Excited to see that. So Saturday, King's Dominion. Go back to the hotel, get a good night's sleep, and then the next day we're driving... Uh, again, I don't know where it is, but we're going to uh, the Lego convention in West Virginia? Virginia? I think it is in Virginia. Let me look it up. I'll tell you exactly where it is. Okay, it's the Brick Fair, Virginia. Uh, Chantilly, Virginia? Uh, I know it's farther north. It's like uh, towards the border of PA. Yeah, but we'll be going there for Sunday, spending the, the afternoon in uh, the Brick Fair, then driving home. So that is the agenda, Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, if you want to meet up with us at any point, you know, get a hold of us. Uh, leave a comment, find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram. Uh, get a way to get a hold of us and we'll meet you at any one of those locations just to say hi and hang out a little bit. Okay? I gotta get tickets for both Brick Fair, I gotta get tickets for Bush Gardens. I'm gonna do that now. I'm upstairs, I oh, don't mind the mess. My gosh, this room is a mess. We need to clean this room when we get back. I gotta get some tickets. Talk to you in a little bit. Okay, tickets have been purchased for everywhere we're going. Now, I need to go downstairs, get some laundry done, because tomorrow, we have to pack. Well, I guess we have Tuesday to pack too, but I'd rather pack on Monday and uh, just get odds and ends on Tuesday. You guys know how it is. The last day before vacation is always like running around crazy. Uh, so I'd like to get as much done as I possibly can. So I'm going to go, I'm going to wrap this up, I'm going to get this edited, and uh, we will talk to you tomorrow where we're only two days away from vacation. Two days! Can't wait. Remember, smile. It confuses people.